Hello and welcome to a new video of my YouTube channel Pins. Thank you so much for tuning in. Today I'm not alone as it looks like right now, but I'm joined with Luke Reacts and Chris Calling. We're gonna be talking about the first rehearsal. We saw the videos and the photos from the rehearsals. We got so excited and that's why we wanted to talk about this right now with you guys. So we hopped on the call and we called for like one hour and we talked about the rehearsal. So here we go and enjoy this video. Also make sure to subscribe to my friends, check out the description. So this is our reaction to the first rehearsal of the first semi-final. So yesterday was the first day of rehearsals and that was semi-final one. So we had seven countries yesterday and the first country uh, who will be opening the show is Cyprus, Cilia Capsis with Laia. Um, we got the photos first. So guys, what are you thinking, Vince? Yes, yeah, so I'm watching at the photos right now and I'm happy. I think it's a good opener for the semi-final, but I'm not really sure about her outfit and the dancers. It looks a little bit like too much chill, laid back. It's like, hello, it's your vision. You need to shine on the stage. She looks re really good, in my opinion. She looks way older than 17. Um, I can say it, right? Because of the boobs. I don't know, but she has boobs for her age. She, the face, the makeup. She looks way older than 17. She also really looks like a Greek artist to me and the dancers took the shirt off that's what your vision fans like but so far i like it but i'm expecting maybe some stage props or i don't know i'm not really sure if it's enough right now for cyprus yeah so i think the focus here is on the choreography isn't it so like we know how much of a dancer cilia is and the dancers are are all about that too so I think based on just like the photos, it doesn't look like much right now. Um, I think there's a lot that we're gonna get like get to discover, if that makes sense, in the second semi-finals and especially the dance break section as well. But Luke, what were your first impressions of Cyprus? I was disappointed in the <laughs> mm. I feel like okay, she's at 17 and I feel like this style of outfit is modern, it's young, you know. She's not dressed, I think, too, like, um, oh, you know, like... Yeah, she's... too mature. Yeah, because I don't like that when someone who's 17 or 18 or, you know, that young age where they're dressed to look mature, like, let her dress the way she dresses. And mm. I just... It looks like the staging lights are really dark, so I think that might be why she's in white, maybe. Um... I feel like I want her in a different outfit. Yeah, I have to agree. I, I agree with you because it's like from the music video, like that's all we had to go off. And I was like, oh my God, it's gold. Like she's going like for the win. And like, oh, it like there was so much off that. And I don't know, just to see her in white on the stage, like I thought it was just going to be bigger. Um, but I don't know. I think, yeah, I think there's still a lot to to judge, if that makes sense. I think that her vocals and the the dance moves are going to be on fire. Um, and I still think it's the perfect Eurovision opener, though. Um, um, sure. mm. And I think as well, like, we need, I think this is the type of performance we need to see the camera angles to, yeah. to understand their direction. Yeah. Well, I did like you two, I did speak to you actually in the group chat. And I just feel like my biggest pet peeve is like when acts don't look professional and when the male dancers take the tops off like i'm not complaining obviously your fans want that but you can see their mic still and it okay. looks all the wires and mm -hmm. it might be a little thing but for me that just looks like uh-uh like that's mm. you don't do that um yeah. so don't change that but we will see I, i'm scared at the minute for her qualification but fingers crossed for celia it just in shows the, you though like go on vince you know also she's rising i think she's now in the fifth oh. place so she a little bit up but yeah oh ah. big surprise to be honest ah. yeah i think like going off of the songs i was like instant qualifier 100 percent um but when, like seeing like even Serbia, like that staging is incredible. Who we'll go on to next, but like it that the staging 
this year there's like it, it's there's so many good songs so it's really going to come down to the performance and staging isn't it for sure mm -hmm. especially with like we want to see how Switzerland will do and how the Netherlands will stage because we have no idea. But yeah, of course. Obviously, yeah. Switzerland's tomorrow. Mm -hmm. I think so. Yeah. yeah, first half of Sabu 2. Oh, wow. I'm excited. But then that moves us on to Serbia. Um, so, of course, um, Teodora, Ramonda. Um, from what I saw in the staging, it looks similar to kind of. Um, the national final and the music video. Um, the main thing for this for me was they've kind of used that music video a lot. Um, they've got like this massive like rock prop on stage. And I think that could easily look very tacky. But to be fair, even from the the photos, I think it looked really like realistic. Um, yeah. And I think we're only getting a glimpse in the first rehearsal of the whole staging. Um, at some point towards the end, they'll have a big flower, hopefully, um, which will look pretty. So um, I was impressed, um, yeah, with Serbia. Um, how are you feeling? Yeah, I was impressed too. <clears throat> so looking at the pictures as we speak. Do you know what as well? Like, outfit, I'm going to start off with that. I love the little black flowy, like, cropped show, you know, jacket. I love that. I just think it's cute, and her dress is really pretty. Um, The rock. I think, like you said, it could be tacky, but it looks like, you know, like proper musical theatre prop. Like, mm -hmm. they know what they're doing with that. I I was, yeah, personally surprised with this. You know, it wasn't a rehearsal that I was looking for. Like, not one of the ones that I'm like, oh my gosh, Serpy is today, you know? Yeah. But it was good. And I do think following Cyprus, based on songs, it should be worried. But with the staging, I feel like Serbia's, it looks very elevated compared to what we've seen for Cyprus. They've put money into that as well. Like, we've seen how, like, it's not cheap to stage, no. like, like, just smoke. It's like 14, I might get this wrong, but, like, something was, like, 14,000 euros to just have, like, pyro or smoke on stage or something, so... Money. They put everything into it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, Serbia, Vince, how are you feeling? Yeah, so as Luke said, I was not really looking forward for the rehearsal. Of course, I want to see it, but it was not like, well, one of my favorites. But when I saw the like, clips and the photos, I'm like, really, I'm like, the rock looks super good. It looks like an actual rock. Uh, the outfit, I don't, it's not my personal, like, my favorite outfit, but I think it's Nash's song. It's like the color of the wool staging. I love the smoke. There's a lot of smoke, so it fills the stage. Even though she's only with a rock, it looks very cool when I'm watching it. The lights, it looks very on point. I think Serbia is doing the most they can with the staging. Um, and I'm really curious how we see the flower in the end. But I think this is everything they caught up done. They did it right. Mm -hmm. So we Serbia. Definitely. I would love to see her in more purple, but I'm sure that will reflect in the staging hopefully um who was after serbia was it Lithuania? Lithuania. i mean guys open the floor how are you feeling you know what i'm gonna start off with this but i'm gonna start off first so here is um do you know what now i'm gonna say again bitch because you're you've been a <laughs> twat recently in my life um but yeah so lithuania i just think okay, i'm gonna be controversial oh this was the weakest staging in my opinion really? oh my god you're going in today luke <laughs> oh. truth, honey. i just think it's the same from the national final performance i mean lorene did the same staging as well Do you think we're going to be in Lithuania next year, though? Be honest. I wish we were. But, no, I love Sylvester as a person. I like his outfit. I just... Oh, I don't know. I just feel like it falls flat. Um, but let me ask you this. Do you, like, if you see, like, a performance in the national final... Because I, I, I share the same view. Like, if, if there's not, like, much elevation or much difference... 
um, I, I slightly disappointed. I don't know why. Like, I I was initially quite disappointed at um, Sylvester's first like rehearsal, but then later on, I was a bit like, well, does much have to change? It was already good. Uh, yeah. Okay, this might be maybe the most controversial thing I've ever said in my YouTube little career, but I get the vibes that this is going to be the Serbia of 2023 where it qualifies, but it shouldn't have qualified based on the live performances in the fi- semi-final. Okay. But I wanted... Ben, do you want to speak? Yeah. <laughs> yes, because I am really positive. Oh, sorry, about... I wasn't finished yet. Um, so I really <laughs> like the red colours and the... Um... <laughs> But I think, yeah, okay, it's not really something different, but they were really happy. They told, like, why we are changing it. We feel happy about this. They elevate, like, the mask. They look very cool. What I wish that the outfit from Barcelona, I really liked it. It was more, like, silver-ish, glitter-ish. I think that one was much better, and I felt the vibe with that way more than with this outfit. But I think... It's a very solid NG. One of my favorite NGs, like, usually I don't really care about Lithuania, but this year I'm like, yes. I said a prediction they're going to be top five, like the fifth place, like random. I always say it's like when one random country, and I think Lithuania is going to be there. So I hope it's, and mm. yeah, I'm happy. Absolutely. Yeah, me too. I think, like, yeah, still a finalist, but I, I am a little bit scared. Like, I don't know. I, I, I feel like the hype, whether they'll be like top 10, I would love, I want to, I, I want Lithuania to win. I would love that. But I, I just think, yeah, if, if people are already used to that national final performance stage in it, they're just going to get bored of it. But yeah. we'll see. A lot of people don't know the national final performance. They watch that's it for the yeah, yeah, that's true. That I've said negatively. But yeah. I agree. People haven't seen that performance. So, yeah casual viewer might be like oh that's amazing yeah when mm-hmm. the, it's in Malmo arena i think every eurovision fan will go crazy in the arena you will feel the energy i think yeah for sure 100 percent. and then we had island so this was one of my shockers i'm not gonna lie guys when i saw these photos i didn't know what to expect because from bambi thug they've served so many different looks throughout pre-parties like they are literally like some controversial outfits like it, every look is different and because of that I was like what are they going to wear on the Eurovision stage but saying that I'm really glad that they've kind of stripped it back to what they were wearing in the Eurosong national final like the similar kind of she's uh, sorry they just in black um and like white makeup and then um we go um but like the staging is not what I thought. And I'm like, that's a good thing. I absolutely love the pink and purple LED. I thought it was so like eye-catching. Um, and then also like they they're surrounded by candles. And as they like move their arms, like they all like motion and like they go on and off. I think that's really cool. Um, and that one photo as well, where she's like in that like position with her leg up. That is Vogue. That is Vogue. Like, that was stunning. Um, but yeah, no, I was impressed. And I saw a lot of comments as well being like, watch this qualify. So I think it's going to be interesting. But yeah, what are you guys thinking about Ireland? You want to go? Me- yeah. One at a time, one at a time. <laughs> okay, I'll go. <laughs> and you, okay. Island. Before the rehearsals, we did see that Island was going up in the odds, in the top ten odds, and now we've seen the rehearsals, and I'm like, keep going up. Like, I just think this is art. Like, this is a Eurovision performance that has, you know, I don't. I was at January, I think, when Island's national final was, and you can tell Bambi has fought like. For the month, the last few months. Okay, this is how we're gonna stage it. I love the candles, and I love that on the LED screen it says "Crown the Witch." Like, I it's going into the witch, you know, character, and I don't, I still don't know if the song is enough for people to like. 
is it too wacky out there for people to vote? But I think the staging is amazing. And I also noticed that under the outfit, Bambi's got like, I think it's pink and blue little um, little squares just under, like a little piece of material. So I'm assuming that's representation for the trans community because I know Bambi's an advocate for all different, you know, misrepresented uh, um, communities in the world. Yeah. I think that just shows Bambi as a person and I hope all the best. And I can really tell the Irish on like social media, they are so proud of the rehearsal. So, yes. Okay, so I um, have to really think about this. Hang on. No, yeah. So, Ireland was my last place before starting with the rehearsals. And because I, this song is not made for me, uh, I have to give it more listens, I think. But when I see this um, photos from Ireland, I'm really shocked in a good way. Like, it's crazy. I think we, we will remember this staging probably in 10 years. You will be like, yes, Ireland sent uh, Bambi and and they look really scary when I watch the pictures um, with the makeup, the white makeup and the, the horns, how you say it, horns and yeah. the dancer with all the the ash or something, how you say it, on his body. And uh, but Chris said, I love the movement with the lights when she's doing when they doing this and the lights. I think that's really cool. Mm. I think this is not going to be my last place. I'm watching one other picture right now. I see some cables in the ceiling, three different cables. I'm curious what's going to be like that. I don't know. I just see three cables. There must be a reason why they are down. So I'm very excited that Ireland is going to be qualifying, will be crazy. I'm happy for Ireland as well. Because they only qualified, I think, once in the last 10 years. Is it right? I think so. Yeah, 2018, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, in the last 10 years now. So they're rising yeah. the odds, and I think they will make it to the finals again. But yeah, let's see. Just talking about mm. Ireland qualifying, do you think if Ireland qualifies, do you think the EBU will put them as 10th qualifier to get that oh. from the crowd? Yes. Yeah, I mean that would be iconic. Yeah, like that would be that would be so fun. I feel like people would be chanting like, or like, the, or like the first yeah. country, yeah. Ireland. They start. Or the, yeah, or the first one. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think it'd be one or the other. Yeah. So let's see. But yeah, after Ireland, we had um, Ukraine. Oh my god! Yeah. Can I start with this? No, Chris, I want to hear your opinion about this one. Okay, so. Um, I mean, I, I was expecting something big. It's Ukraine. Ukraine deliver incredible staging every year. They're in the final every year and there's a reason for it. Um, but again, it was like, it just from the photos, that like I love like the like amber gold kind of warm tones and lighting they use on the staging. Um, Jerry Heil has a beautiful dress on um, with like um, a piece of armor on her shoulder. Um, and her hair is so, so long. Um, she looks so stunning. Um, and then Aliona Aliona is like in silver. Um, and again, I might have got that wrong. It might be just like the lightings that like have reflected on the clothes. But that's part of the point is that the the outfits they're wearing, um, the lights reflect so good off them. Um, and I think they had like a, a platform as well that um, they're on as well. So they, they have a prop. Um, oh, it's just going to be beautiful. It's going to be a beautiful performance. Um, like I think this is more, one of the more emotional kind of songs as well, emotional ones because we've got so many crazy, um, fun songs as well this uh, this year. So, um, yeah, I think this is uh, just from the photos, it's amazing, and I yeah, I can't wait to see more like behind the story of like the LEDs as well because like um, Ukraine twenty twenty two, there was so much on the LEDs and stuff and um the message and stuff. So. Yeah, I'm I'm excited um by it. But yeah, I'll stop lecturing. So <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. <It's... laughs> How are you feeling? Yes, I'm uh, watching the pictures right now. And what I should <laughs> said about the armor, like the little detail on the shoulder, I don't know, but I love, love, love it. I think it's super cool. Uh it's a like big uh, elevation from the national final performance. I love the prop, it reminds me of Armenia with the song, what was it again? Future Lover. The Future Lover, I think it looks super good. 
people make um comparison with like the war i saw like a, a pictures it looked like the same thing so with the lights with the with the um, LED screen, but I think it looks so good. Ukraine knows how to do stagings and they prove it again. They are masters at this. Let me see pictures again. Yeah, I love the outfits. I think this is just everything they caught up done. They do it really good. Like uh, another country we talked before, what was it again? Uh, Serbia. No, yeah. So go Ukraine. Mm -hmm. Luke. Um, like I saw, I think, somewhere on social media that they can you know said a while ago like their performance is not going to be anything like their national final performance and obviously it isn't and i just think like it's a bit different i think as the staging for ukraine you know ukraine does have like interesting concepts but i would have never thought of this concept for this song yeah but it works and, like, can we just appreciate Jerry Hale's outfit? Like, the hair? Like, she looks like she's coming from a Disney princess film. Yeah, I love it. And as well, what I really appreciate with the outfits, with especially with Aliona Aliona, is you can tell, I think, sometimes in Eurovision that people's styles don't get, like, they're not allowed to wear what they would like to wear at Eurovision. Like, what makes mm. it possible. So if we saw Aliona Aliona in a dress like Jerry, you know, we've not yeah. seen Aliona in anything like that style in the three parties on Instagram. So I'm just glad that she's they've allowed her to keep to what she wants. And she looks gorgeous. Both of them look amazing. Mm. And I think it's gonna be very emotional. And this has now made me I was losing the hype bit of Ukraine, but now I'm hyped and I can see them in a the top five or top three finish in the final. Yeah. Oh my God, yeah, 100%. And just finishing on Ukraine as well, like I love the sisterhood that's behind them both. Um, saw in the TikTok of how nervous, or like a lot of the artists were to go on stage, like as they should be, the stage is massive. But um, like, it, it's just nice that they've got each other to kind of like share the experience with and any like nerves that they've got each other to lean on. So yeah, it's so nice to see that. Um, two of the nicest artists this year. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, one hundred percent. Um, and then yeah, was that? Do you have anything else to say on Ukraine at all? All I was gonna say quickly, like I don't want to mm -hmm. go into detail about this, but the way the staging is, I do get like they could potentially win maybe the jury in the final. They could well, then they win Eurovision. If they win the juries, they will win Eurovision for sure. The televotes will like this too. Yeah. True. Yeah. Hey, maybe we'll be back at another second place country next year, or you know, I have no idea. I don't know. Hmm. We will see. But yeah, after Ukraine was Poland. So Luna, uh, with the tower. There's a lot to unpack here. <laughs> like, I, I don't know what I was expecting from Poland. I really don't. But the pictures again were amazing. Um, first of all, her outfit. Um going for that red and white aesthetic um she's got two like red cones on her shoulders um the kind of like red white makeup um and she's joined by uh two people that we know of so far on stage um three. Oh, my three, mistake yeah. oh my gosh i missed that third person but um yeah there's that and then they've got two kind of like tower structures on stage and i think in one of the last images we saw there's some pirates and fireworks so luke let's start with you how are you feeling about poland right now a lot of people know now poland's one of my favorites this year i adore luna oh. hey uh, surprises <laughs> i adore luna i adore the song I really did not expect this staging. Like, this is wacky shit. Like, this is this is out there. But I'm glad that they've kept the whole chess concept like they have with the music video. I don't really understand why chess is the concept, you know, in the music video and on the stage, but I'm not complaining. It's cool. And I love that she does eventually have some type of towers that she does climb up at the end with the pyro. And the pyro looks... The pyro is pyro wing. 
Like, it is going out. They've got budget this year. Pyro is mothering. Yes. Power. Um, I have seen comparisons of the staging to... um. Uh, yeah, the the song in the UMK national final, Vox Populi. Yeah, I cannot pronounce it. But yeah, I've saw uh-huh. comparisons, which yeah, I can see that. Um, and do you know what I have? Like, I feel like this is the country out of the first half, which has had like a lot of reaction, and it's either love or hate. Like, this is not a re- this is not a staging. You're gonna be like, oh. It's nice. Like, you're either going to be Team Poland or you're going to not be Team Poland. Mm. But it's a risk. It is a risk. Yeah, I think it's definitely memorable. Like, I- I'm curious. The th- most thing I'm curious about about Poland is I've mentioned it before in previous videos is her vocals. Um, and again, she can sing. She's an amazing vocalist, but it's the power behind that. Um and she moves a lot on stage, as we saw in the photos. She's carried at one point. So as long as she can perform that live, then great. But Vins, Poland. I've been listening to you guys, and I agree. It's my favorite rehearsal of the World Semi-Final so far, actually. Mm-hmm. I have been, I don't know, like today, during the day, I've put my music box on and just play only the TikTok to hear the sound, because I love Oh, that's my like my heart like bam bam. Uh, when I hear like I'm in an arena, you hear like a different kind of vibe of the volume. So you hear like the echo and you hear she's rehearsing. I love it. It sounds so good and like really hyped for this. Um, but like the first honestly, the first five minutes was like Poland, you did this, you messed up. But then I was watching it over and over, and I'm like, actually, it's a great idea, just something we didn't expect. I'm not really sure about, she has some kind of dress reveal. She starts with something completely. Yeah, of course. I forgot about that. Yeah, that's in the beginning. And the tower is starting like this and they open it up, I see. I see also one picture uh, when she's standing like this with the white outfit. She looks like Bilal Lisa Asani from. Yes. And I see that. But I think it's very playful and very entertainment. And the pyros, oh my God, I love they brought pyro to the stage. It's different than I was expecting, but I'm here for it. Go Poland. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And we finished the day off with Croatia. So, baby lasagna. Rim Tim Taki Dim. So, the biggest difference I noticed here with uh, Croatia's staging is the way that baby lasagna looked. So, um, he was wearing like black in the national final. Now he's all in white. Um, I absolutely love the outfit. So I love like the bolero white arms, the white pants. Um, and then he's got like a red kind of um, like sleeveless tuxedo um, with loads of like Croatian embellishments. And I love that. Um, but the rest of the staging seems to be pretty similar. Um, there's the same number of people on stage. There's a female dancer, a male dancer and the drummer um, at the back. So, um, yeah. The only thing I would say with this right now, for me, um, and I've, I've said it in previous videos, I would love Croatia to win. I would love baby Lasagna to win. Um, he's such a nice guy. Um, but there wasn't, just from these photos and TikTok, it might change in when we get the second semi um, second rehearsal videos, but I didn't see a winning moment just from these first pictures, in my opinion, um, which made me really sad, to be honest. But... Um, it, yeah, I don't know. That's all I have to say at the moment. But yeah, how are you guys feeling about Croatia? Exactly. I don't feel winner vibes from like since the beginning, but seeing the stage, I'm like, it looks good, especially for Croatia. I think they really try to bring the best to the stage, but I think it's not giving me winner vibes. Um, I like they have pyros, I see flames, I see smoke. Um, but it looks like the Dora performance, which was okay, but. And honestly, I don't like the new hairstyle and the outfit. I think the one in Madrid, maybe it was it was more red. I think that's better. And no, I don't like his hair. I don't know the the eye line. Hmm, it's not giving it for me. It's not going to be the winner. Period. Mm. Oh, girl. Okay, I thought I was a shady one usually when it comes to Croatia, but I think today it goes to Vince. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, 
I appreciate it. I much prefer the outfit. I really like this outfit more than the national final. I just think, like you said, it doesn't give winner. Like, as soon as I saw it, I was like, okay, this is a country that is coming to do well. They're not coming to win. Uh, but it might change in the when we get the second you know, rehearsal. But the other thing that scares me is, obviously, we've not seen any camera angles. And I feel like that's what Croatia's maybe not the strongest in. So yeah, the type of song is very you know, fast paced. Baby Lasagna has a lot of dance movements. Chris's favorite move. Um, but so it's gonna be interesting to see what this um gonna look like on TV as well. And honestly, for the, the big moment, this is the big moment. I'm sorry, but this is giving nothing. I have to agree. I've said it before. It needs to be a, like it, he can dance. Like they just should have done a dance break there. Yeah. More dance news, more stuff. But yeah, like you said, Luke. I think it, like Car- I'm not comparing this to Carrier, but I kind of am. He had four <laughs> dancers on stage, which are part of the performance. Um, and so. I think because there's less people on stage, they need to nail they need to nail the camera angles on this. Definitely. So yeah, but oh, it's just annoying because Baby Lasagna was at the top of the odds for so long, and I think like Croatia have so much to be proud of for this performance, and it, it's I think it's definitely going to be Croatia's best result in years. Um, but it's just it, it's losing the winner vibes for me at the moment. I think you both agree as well. Yeah. So, yeah. But no, that finishes off um our day one. We move on to the second half of the first semi final, and we start strong because we have Iceland hit up here with the song. Scared of heights. Luke, what do you think about the song? Tell us your tea. My tea. You know I love this song. Hera is my queen. She's my icon. I love her. I think she's entertaining when she doesn't even mean to be entertaining. We all know this now. Her iconic form. <laughs> Get your thumbs out. And do you know what? <laughs> After her rehearsal pictures, I'm going to do this too because <laughs> I think these <laughs> You know, I think people are sort of like very underestimating Iceland. Um, is the staging life changing? No. Yeah. Oh. But did we expect that? I, you know, I thought it was going to be similar to the national final performance. But I love her outfit and her ponytail. She is giving, like we said, Ariana Grande. Yes. If she adds a dance break for her just to do that. I would be like, yes, you listen to the keys. <laughs> um, but we can't say anything about that. Like, she is mother of Eurovision 2024. And I just, I really want to see the full, like, um, you know, rehearsal. Rich, can you say more about yeah. it? Because what does it matter? I... What does it matter? Can you tell the viewers what mother means? I mean, like, it's what Hera is giving. She's been to Eurovision before. She is a motherly figure. And she's someone that we all look up to, um, no matter how she will do. Oh, I'm that's funny, looking up to. But she's scared of height, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, aren't we all? But I'll keep it short and sweet. Um, oh. They might not have been prepared to win the national final. but you they should have won Do you want to cut me off again, Luke? Sorry, sorry, just because I, you know, who do you want to, who did you want to win? Go, Tiffany. Um, and if you, if you know, you know. Um, so, um, I, I think they weren't ready for the, uh, like, they might not have been ready for the win, but now they're ready for the Eurovision stage. Um, I love Hera's look, the outfit, and yeah, I, I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Yeah, I completely agree with you guys. I think she is there to enjoy the contest and to bring a lot of joy to the stage. And I think people were really appreciated at home. Um, she's less, I see right now, after the rehearsals in the arts. I think she deserves more. 
Um, she just gives me only the positive vibes. And I like, the, I think they are lasers. I see pictures on the lasers. It gives me like Nordic vibes. Maybe you know the energy in the Norwegian national selection two years ago or something with the men. Um, but, no, I don't know. I, I, I like it. I like it. They add some lasers to make the northern lights. Um, um, when we were watching the rehearsals, she looks a little bit like through the stairs. She's afraid to fall down. So I, I hope she can practice this moment. No, that's her character. Yeah. She's scared of heights. Oh, oh. Okay. I mean, I hope she doesn't fall. Yeah, but it Please. would be very on brand. Actually, that makes sense. But no, she looks probably like like okay. Emma said in the right step. Emma said in the right step. But I love it so gold. And let's go to the next country because we have Slovenia. Oh, and just before we go on to the next country, shout out to Ragnar, um, head of media and backing singer of Iceland because. We can't wait to meet you, honey. Um, and yeah, the whole of the Icelandic delegation, we can't wait to see you and your performance. Really good fun. Chris was telling us about some Instagram stories he had seen. Yeah, yeah we're seeing the whole Icelandic journey and yeah, we see you in the final. Yeah. <laughs> but are we going to see Slovenia in the final as well? We just saw the first rehearsal and the pictures. Luke, what do you think about it? Okay, so I was really happy, I, like, you know, in my bubble, and I was just, like, in my, you know, having some food, and I was like, oh, my God, the pictures, this looks really good. But then people I've seen are really against the staging. Like, people really don't like it. And I'm like, why? Really? Why? why? I'm sitting here, yes. What? I'm one, I'm one of them, probably. Oh, oh, my God. Okay, hater. But I think it's cool. There looks like a lot of movement. So I, a bit like Poland, I just hope she can keep the vocal, but we know she can sing live. And um, it looks quite similar to the music video. Mm. Uh, like the outfit. Like, I love the outfit. Like, yeah. Show off, you know, she has such, she's so tall, such a good figure. She's got such a good figure, yeah. Like, show it off, woman, like, show it off, bitch. Yeah, I love all her tattoos as well. Like, I feel like that's part of the reason why she's gone for that outfit. Yeah. Um, because it's it, like, it, it's um, oh, what's the word? Um, a little, like, a little goes a long way. Um, so like this outfit, it's not very like, it's not embellished with jewels or anything. It's not like glittery, but I think that's okay. She's got a stunning figure, amazing tattoos, and like she's, she's blonde, she's stunning. So I think that's all she needs. And I think, it, I think even her makeup in this first rehearsal looked amazing. So just imagine what it'll be like in the semi-final. Yeah, so I'm not really like on the same team as you guys. Like, okay, the outfit is basic, like simple, but it looks cool on her. But for me, I think it's too empty. I want some smoke, I think, around it. But I think I'm not sure how the budget does look like from Slovenia because they have dancers. Okay, but I feel like it's a big stage, and I'm just scared it will be like a little bit too empty. But we will see with the camera angels. What I can see from the pictures, I think she will really play with the camera. So I think that's a good thing for her. I like the clouds in the background, but I still want some clouds on the stage, like smoke. Hmm. I don't think this is going to qualify, actually. No. Yeah. It's at this moment on the 12th place in the arts with 53% oh. to qualify. And uh, we cannot all make put them through to the finals. So I think Sabina is sadly not going to make it. You guys agree or not? I disagree respectfully, but I think that's what makes it more interesting is like this is one of the countries where it's going to come down to the camera angles and the staging, like how it looks on TV. So, yeah. Okay, we go to Luke. You want to say something? I was just going to say, like, if this qualifies, I wouldn't be surprised. But if this doesn't qualify, I wouldn't be surprised either. Like, it could go either way. Yeah, it's like probably like borderline qualifier, I think, if she qualifies. Let's go to a televote friendly song, I would say, Finland, the denim egg they have brought back on stage. Um, Chris, can you tell me what you think about Finland? Yeah, what well, I would say about the staging from what I've seen, it's similar to UMK. There's not much they needed to change from UMK, in my opinion. Um, they've just made it more slick and refined. Um, like even the denim egg with like some LEDs on it um, looks more fresh. So 
Um, yeah, I've got nothing bad to say about it. I still think it's going to qualify um, in the televote jury f- um, semi-final. Sorry, um, but yeah, I think it's looking good for Finland um, as it has in previous years. Look. Um, I agree. <clears throat> I think this is obviously qualifying. It's the same national final performance, but they've elevated it with like the LEDs on the egg. Uh, and Windows 95 man has uh, <laughs> elevated his little shorts to a thong. <laughs> no. Can't wait to see pictures of him probably walking around the Malmo River to show his thong off. Knowing Finland, there'll probably be some promotion. And mm-hmm. he'll probably be in the water drowning when I push him in. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I just think Finland's good for it. It's making me smile. Um, even though I was smiling when I'm thinking of Finns getting pushed in the water. But <laughs> not as big as everything is. To be <laughs> continued. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Good, good for Finland and I have seen on Instagram, I think our dear friend Georgie put it up on his Instagram story that he commented positively about the um the rehearsal and then someone replied back to him be like, You're like being nasty about Georgie. So I think people are really against Finland for some reason, but I'm here with they're here for shits and giggles. <laughs> Aren't we all? Yes. So what I want to say about this, they really elevate this to the Eurovision stage. As we all said, I like the LED like LED strips on the egg. I think it looks indeed fresh. They changed the outfit more like with the blur because they were not allowed to use the logo, of course. I'm watching now one of the haircuts from the dancers. I don't know which year it was, but it looks like really like before the 90s with like the short. It looks very, they knew, they know what they vibe they're going for. A lot of blue colors. I think the LED looks cool and the lighting is on point because it's Sweden. But yeah, Finland is going to sail to the finals and then the juries are going in. And I don't think the juries are going to like this. But then we have violence playing and the angels are crying. I don't know the lyrics, but here we are with Moldova. Let me start first. Yeah, let's, let's go. Let's go. Yes. So Moldova, I put it as a qualifier before the rehearsals because Moldova knows how to stage. I think I'm wrong with this year. I mean, they don't stage it bad, but the song itself is already not like super strong. And when I see she doesn't have any dancers now anymore, they used to have dancers. She used to have dancers in the national selection, but now it's only her standing on the same position for three minutes with some butterflies flying around with the typical tree we see in Eurovision quite sometimes. Hmm, the outfit is okay, the violin, but I think it's not enough. What do you think, Chris? Yeah, this is like the biggest changes, I think, from a national final that we've seen one of. Um, I kind of just don't know what to expect with this. Um, it goes without saying, Natalia Babu, she can command that stage. Her outfit is really, really nice. I, I like, like, it, she's gone from, like, the black outfit to, like, this white, um, more detailed outfit. Um, I just don't know. I don't, I like, I feel like... Moldova usually brings something quite quirky and fun to Eurovision. Um, and although this is like a really like um quality song, um, I, I don't against the rest of the competition right now, I don't see this qualifying. Um, but I like what I see on stage in. I think it's still gonna be a good performance. Yeah. <clears throat> I am like, I've got my dinner's gonna be ready soon, so I'm gonna be quick now with my reviews. This is not going to qualify, in my opinion. It gives me Croatia 2022 vibes, where it's like, I know she had dances, but it's like, you know, the girl with an instrument and all that. Um, Moldova usually has very creative stagings, but this time, from what we've seen, it's not that creative. And I just think this is the one where, out of everything we've seen, I'm like, okay, I feel like this is most likely out of the songs in the semi that's not going to qualify. Hmm. But I like Natalie Babu. It is Natalie Babu, isn't it? Natalia, yeah. yeah. Natalia. <laughs> let's go outside Europe and let's go to our favourite entry this year, Australia. We have Electric Fields with the song. Let's go. Luke, you want I'll, to talk about it? Yes, I'll start. Um, 
this has literally become an earworm for me the last few days. I was just, I just keep saying it, you know, man, Cali love. I just, it just, I like the last like 30 seconds. So I was like, da, 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 eh. you know, it's just like so fun. Like get me on a beach cocktail. Um, I think the staging looks good. It's cute. Like it's really cute, like pretty. And I do think, like, sometimes when it's pretty, it's, like, is pretty enough at your vision? But I love that they've got the guy with the instrument. Chris, can you pronounce it for me? <laughs> um, di um, a didgeridoo. That's the one. Um, yes. Um, I just love how they've got dancers, and we know Zachariah. They are just going to bring the vocals down. And, yeah, Australia! Yeah, you have a strong connection to Australia, right? You're almost part of the delegation, I heard from Information Insights. So when are you going to be the spokesperson for Australia? I'll be the presenter, bitch, the backstage reporter. Going, do you need a few more drinks, love? I'll get a few more drinks. <laughs> we will love that. But first, we want to see what Chris thinks of Australia staging rehearsal. I really like the staging. I love the song. Um, But I think it's... There's nothing that like I've seen on the staging that I'm like, whoa, I wasn't expecting that. Um, I love the colors that they're using, um, but I I don't know. I, I see it as not qualifying right now, just based on the photos. Um, just again, it's just such a strong year. There's so many like quirky Telebook friendly songs um, and it's an amazing song. I think in any other year, this would have done uh, better but it's just an incredibly strong year um but i hope i hope my mind gets changed in the second rehearsal clips all right so what i want to say i want to be short about this because i haven't really paid enough attention but i see the dress is really cool it's it's fashion but i don't know i just like it yeah the so outfits are stunning yeah like the um, most wow thing i see on this performance um, I'm curious how it's going to look like on television, but so far I'm like, okay, Australia is going for like a warm team, summer vibes, no, not really summer vibes, but whatever. Uh, I'm excited to see Australia and I'm not sure if they're going to qualify. Mm, it's a mix for me, like they can go both ways. But then we go to Portugal, we see that um, she's back with kind of like the same style from the national final performance. Um, for me, that's okay. I think I like the national final performance. It's very dark and white. Like the LED screen is almost black. So she pops up with the dancers. I think it's cool. But I don't know if the song itself is enough. Her vocals are amazing. Uh, Luke, what do you think about Portugal? Do you know what? Like, I think it seems very similar to the national final, but elevated in a not like hair big way maybe compared to Finland but you can still see it's elevated um, and I just think she looks absolutely stunning I love the masks on the dancers, I think that was in the national final but I'm paying more attention to it now and I really like it and I think this is another one where we need to see the camera angles because this is the song that needs to connect to the audience and I think this can that can happen with the correct angles and camera shots. But she's a performer. She knows what she's doing. So I have um, hope for her. And I do think Portugal will be in the final. All right. Yeah, I completely agree. I think, like, this is one of the last, like, ballads. or Like, it's one of the few ballads in this semi-final overall. The whole year. Exactly. Yeah. And I think it's one of the last things people will remember um as quite like quite emotional in the semi-final um yeah I don't know what it is with Port I feel like Portugal has a better chance right now um again I I'm glad that the staging is similar to the national final um and I think it's yeah I, I think that this could definitely qualify it's it's definitely one of those ones where I'm like this can more qualify than not um and yeah it's one of those countries I'm glad that they've got the same staging from the semi-final, it's uh, from the national final to now. So yeah, it's looking good for Portugal. All right, let's move on to the last country that is performing in the first semi-final. We see Luxembourg tally. Uh, like Chris, can you say again what you think? This has to start with this song. 
Yeah, I mean, ugh, Tali, well, had a one-on-one -on -one with her at LEP. Um, love her so much. Um, yeah, really, really impressed by the staging. We've got like, like glimpses from performances that she's done and the music video in terms of her look. Um, and yeah, I'm not being funny, but Luxembourg, after 31 years, they're coming back with a bang. Um, the money has put uh, been put into the staging. We've got pyro fireworks, great lighting. Um, and of course, she had so many different dancers at um, the national final. She could only have like four or five. Um, but yeah, personally, I like the outfit choices. Um, she's in black. The rest of the dancers are in like this, uh, like amber orange. I quite like the contrast, um, and I think without it goes without saying, um, the last country going in the semi final. I think this is going to be stuck in people's minds. Um, so yeah, as long as she can pull it off live, I think this is looking good for Luxembourg. Luke, well, I <clears throat> I obviously she they've said that this is not her outfit and they keep it for. Oh, yeah, I missed that. that. Yeah, <laughs> I told you. Yeah, you just press usually Vince who doesn't listen, but now it's you. Um like that. <laughs> Yeah, so apparently she's got her outfit, but she's not wearing it until a later rehearsal. Which I hope it's black because I don't want it in a similar pattern to the dancers, because I do not like their outfits. I think it looks a bit messy. Uh, that's just my personal take, but I love the prop. Like that's a good part. And closing the semi, people will be like, oh my god, that girl with that cool staging and vocals, you know, we know she can sing. Um, and our own Chris has had an interview with her where she said that this song is difficult to sing, but now with the revamp, she has a few little pauses. So I think that will help her a lot. And yeah, Portugal's, not Portugal, sorry, Luxembourg will be in the final. That's a great way to end because I think it's a good staging. I'm happy to see the prop because it's visually something we can look at. It looks creative, so I don't know what they're gonna do if they can move stuff in the prop. Um, I didn't expect like this orange scene, but when I see the pyros, I'm like, yes, Luxembourg is bringing the pyros in the first time they are back. Um, I think that she's gonna wear something black, but just something different. That's why she's still in black, but she's not giving everything yet away. Yeah, this is this for this video. I think I think we have spoken about all the entries right now, and yes, it was so exciting to finally see all the monster rehearsals, like clips, the visual story. I think it's so interesting and super excited for Shimmy Final too. Oh, mm -hmm. so and in a week, in a week as well, we'll be there. It's gonna be so oh exciting. My, you'll be in the play. We will be in Malmo. Oh my god, I can't believe it. Yeah, keep stay tuned, guys, because we have so much more content coming out with all three of us. So we have a lot yeah. of ideas. Yes. Yeah. So do you want to end this video? Do you want to like make an outro? Where can they find us? Luke, okay, you're so hosting now. You're hosting. <laughs> <laughs> you can find me on YouTube at Luke Reacts underscore twenty. You can also follow me on Instagram. It's my personal account, but I do post a bit of quite a bit of Eurovision stuff on my stories, which is Luke Griffiths underscore twenty. And a lot of my content for Eurovision Week will be on my TikTok account. Um, UK memes underscore for you it is a memes account at the minute. Uh, it's my baby. I've had her since COVID. She's she's what year now? Four. So she's four, and after four years, she'll be posting actual <laughs> real life content. <laughs> Love that. How is I don't have much. Talking? I don't have much to say about uh my content, but. Um, you can find me at Chris underscore calling official um, on Instagram. I'm going to be posting stories of Eurovision week. Um, and the bath as well. Chris loves a bath for the story. I do love a bath, but <laughs> you'll have to, yeah. It's a yeah. Exactly. Uh, Chris dot calling on TikTok and Chris calling on YouTube. Guys, stay tuned. Also, so you're... I just want to say... Chris has been hyping up to me and Vince before that he's got a surprise for us. So I am very intrigued for this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I'm going to shift myself on video. But so you're the officially Chris, you said, right? Officially. Non officially. Yeah. Little surprise for my friends. 
from I Holland know it's, and I know it's the Wirral. So, so yeah, now so I want to do a, a little promotion as well. I'm Vince. I'm from Vince Eurovision on Instagram, Eurovision News. If you want to know my private, I never share it, but my name is, you probably don't know it, but let's say it. Vince Federiesen. And on TikTok, Vince Eurovision. Luke. How do we close the video, or Chris? You can one of you can go. And Vince won't be the spokesperson of the Netherlands this year. <laughs> yeah, next year. It's next one year. Time. Yeah, next year. Oh, guys, I feel like we should end this video with two words. Yeah, after three. Yeah. One, two, three. Go, go Liberty! <laughs> <laughs> Bye, guys. See you next time. See you next week and bye-bye. Okay.